Afternoon everybody, hope you're great, hope you're fine. In this video, this is a lovely book I'm going to talk about in this video. It is called The Creative Thinking Handbook, your step-by-step -step guide to problem solving in business. Chris Griffiths and Alan Costi. It's a really inspiring and pragmatic guide to innovation and creativity, key drivers of good business. Be that Esslin. Lord Mayor of the City of London. Okay. Look at the back. <coughs> this is the synopsis at the back. I can read all of it, but here's a quote some people. Chris Griffiths gives us a powerful hands on approach to tap with tap into our creative flow and become masters in our chosen field, an essential resource for anyone looking to be different and create at the highest capacity. Melanie Costi is a professional business writer with a background in marketing management. She has a she has co-authored several books on the topics of leadership and smart thinking. We shall look into the contents. So part one introduction, why do you need the ideas? Part one thinking about your thinking. This is the decision radar, mind number and patterns, mental cognition, put your thinking under the radar, take action on your results, two common thinking errors, selective thinking, killing creativity and smart decisions, that's the ideal, the bias that binds, references, three common thinking errors, reactive thinking, system one versus system two, need for speed in the heat, to get information on our load here, four, Complicating errors again, assumptive thinking. They everywhere are changing assumptions, but assumptive rules, rules are made to be broken. And references. Back to problem solving. Are you market driven or market driving? A winning <coughs> process, divergent and convergent thinking, the creativity toolkit. Six, the solution, find a step one, understanding, divine challenge, the understanding toolkit. Seven, the solution, find a step two, ideation, generative thinking, brainstorming, how to be better at brainstorming, that's correct, brainstorming strategy. Eight, the solution, find a ideation toolkit, creative on demand. Nine, the solution, find a step three, analysis, evaluate ideas, analysis toolkit. Ten, we have the solution, find a step four, direction. Turn ideas into action, a direction toolkit, direction checklist. Eleven, commit to thinking differently, putting it all together. This is commitment, making time for creativity. Twelve, creative leadership, innovation is a core leadership skill, the end game, freedom to fail. Like player priority, innovative factors and support system. So conclusions, where do you go from there? That's about the office, the forward and all of those. So you're saying knowledge is no longer power. I agree. How many times have you heard that knowledge is power? There was an era when possessing information and being an expert in your field gave you prime advantage. Your unique mass of experience, professional training and no age put you ahead of the game and gave you the age. Now not so much, I agree. Create to die. Ideas help you answer all sorts of questions such as those. How can we retain more customers? How can I solve problems? How can I aim new markets? How can I motivate my team? Creativity gap. <coughs> 82% of surveys can possibly raise a strong connection between creativity and business results. You lose your creativity by age. You know. So it's a study of children who lost their creativity as they grow older. At five, at five years old, 98% were done. At 10 years old, 30%, 15 years old, 12. 35 plus 2%. Of us have lost our creativity. Think without the box. We don't think outside the box. We think without the box. Brainstorming blunders. 
ones are like parachutes, they function only when open, creativity and innovation. What's the difference? Applied creativity, how to use this book. You learn how to assess your thinking, understand the cost about thinking, gain clarity, connect multiple ideas, engage yourself. Look beyond the obvious, explore fresh perspectives, choose the best, and pass foolishness without assumptions, but hold to the chance and judgment. Bring objectivity, command to the ideas, respect the problem, and go free and do a confidence for analysis. Take on more helpful thinking habits, become more creative in your thinking over time, and better creative culture into your organization. So that is it. I'll read the book. It's a great book. Great, 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 great book. So that's, that's what's in there. Market driven, market driver. Food for thought, assumptive moves, assumptions aren't hard facts, so the post limits. Don't use assumptions, there's a problem in operating assumption. This is what I just see that what happens every minute based on the printer. That was two years that's ago. Knowledge Workers Day. Is that some clear? Very active was proactive. So that is what the book is all about. The bastard binds, that's the idea. So, yeah, check it out if you've got time. Here, so that's the book, the Creative Thinking Handbook, a step by step guide for solving business by Chris Griffiths. Hope you read it and enjoy it. Or give it.